What we're going to look at now are PLC address based components. I've got a PLC in the drawing, it's PLC6, and what I want to do is update these components, these relays that have been brought into the drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do, right click on the project, add the active drawing and say yes to the project default values. And there's my 12 PLC address based components.dwg. Let's right click on the project and go to properties. Go to components. There's no search for PLC input output address. Wire numbers. Again, no search for PLC input output address. So I'll OK that. Let's check our drawing as well. Right click, properties, drawing properties. Again, nothing's been added yet. Nothing ticked on either components or wire numbers there. So I'll just cancel that for the moment. OK. Let's go to the schematic tab on the ribbon. We'll go to the other tools panel here and we want drawing properties. Now, same dialog box as if I'd right clicked on the drawing here in the project list. Components, search for PLC input output address on insert. Wire numbers, search for PLC input output address on insert. And we're going to OK that. So that's updated the settings on our drawing. Let's just save our drawing as well. To be on the safe side. So now what we need to do is we need to re-tag our components. So again, schematic tab, edit components panel, and I want here re-tag components. Component re-tag for project, active drawing all, or active drawing pick. I'm going to select active drawing all and OK it. And it says no reference is found. Let's go to the wire numbers here. I want wire numbers. I want to tag new unnumbered only or tag retag all. We're going to tag retag all. Wire tag mode is going to be sequential and format override. Now we want drawing wide. I'm going to hit drawing wide there and now you'll see things look somewhat different. Because the relays have a wire going in and coming out, there's two wires there. And you can see now with the wiring it all works. Now let me just drop one more wire in there. Let's take it off of this terminal 5 here. And I'll bring it in there and I'll click. Right click, right click and enter to finish. Now what I need to do is put that wire in properly. You'll notice, can you see? It hasn't snapped to the terminal there. So let's just remove that wire and delete it. Make sure you get these accurate otherwise the parent-child relationship won't work. So wire get the nearest snap like so, click, and there you go, it's worked that time. So I'll just zoom out a bit and pan and get that wire coming up here a bit, right click, right click and enter to finish the wiring. So if I come in now, what should happen in the drawing settings here is when I bring in a component, let's say another relay, so if I go relay contact, let's go for something like a solid state relay, and I'll get it nice and tight to there. Has it taken the PLC address? No, it hasn't, because it's not using the drawing setting yet. If I list the input output in use in the drawing now, there we are. I want 5, which is on pin 6, that one there. So if I OK that now, there we go, there's the component tag, and I OK it. Now it's dropped it right on top of it, which isn't as neat as it could be. That's no problem, we zoom in, we click here, right click, and I want to move that component up. So I'll drop it there. Tidies it all up for me, and all I've got to do now is take that wire in, so I click on the wire, click there, drag it down, hit escape, and there we go. It's all tied in, K105, and as you can see, I've actually selected the wrong one there. That should actually be I04. That's no problem. I edit the component, like so, and I can change that. I can use a PLC address. So I'll take the fixed off, PLC address, and I'll change that. Can you see that? K04 there, OK it, and it updates, because I had it fixed. So you can see there now, no references found for 05, because it's actually 04 that I should have been using. So that's your PLC address-based components. You can do them drawing-wide, or as you can see, individually like I've done there.